I haven't seen you in a while. I just want to say congrats. Uh, Call Me By Your Name was unbelievable. And that was a... It was fantastic. I loved it from uh, the beginning to end. I, I was like, even the credits, I love the credits. Yeah, I go, yeah. well, I've never seen him with it, but dude, you just hit a home run in that. You were so fantastic in that. Yeah. Uh, congrats on that. I didn't get a chance to tell you that. You did a great job on that. It was a fun ride, man. It was, it was a great experience to get to make. And yeah. just the process of shooting a movie in Italy is always fantastic because there's always great food and wine during lunch. Yeah. So. It just felt like, I mean, where was that uh, shot? Where, where yeah, we shot it all in Crema, the town that it takes place in. I want to live there. I know. <laughs> so, I know. I it know. is so beautiful yeah. and everything was just great, but I, I just everyone worked perfect together, but man, you were just outstanding yeah, in that thank you, dude. Let me say this for the for the viewers at home. You smell amazing. <laughs> I, I, I'm... Thank you. Yeah, it's 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 like a real it's a real thing. I'm having like I'm like, good it's... God, you smell good. It makes me feel like I think you smell so good. Does that mean that I actually smell bad and I'm used to my no, own? You smell? smell good too. This is all Pert Plus. That's that, all that it is. is. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you. Pert Plus. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, also, uh, you did the audio book. I did. For, yeah. For Call me by that. But uh, what? Well, that was different. You played. You played. Yeah. Well, I play. I play Oliver in the movie, and the book is written almost entirely from the perspective of Elio. It's yeah. like his inner thoughts and his whole thing. Uh, so it was really interesting to go from focusing on the movie to only Oliver's point of view to reading the book only from. Elio's point of view. Uh, you did the movie first? I did the movie first and then the audiobook afterwards. So as I was reading the audiobook, I'd get to scenes and just like, I'd have to stop and just sort of like bask in the memories of <laughs> Italy and the yeah, sunshine yeah, like, and all that. Oh, oh. Would you have played, like, would I play that differently now if I did? Oh, 100%. That? I was also like, really, I really up that scene. You should have done that <laughs> Yeah, no, no. Anyway. You yeah. didn't. You did it great. Uh, are you nervous to, uh, to be on Broadway? This is your debut here. Is this your. Is this your yeah. Yes. Uh, is it your theater? Is it your theater debut or no? Yeah, this is my Broadway debut. Uh, I've done theater before. I mean, I, d I don't want to toot my own horn here. Toot away. But I did play Rooster Hannigan and Annie in sixth grade. Yes, we know yeah. that. Yeah. We all yeah. saw that. Yeah. That was unbelievable. Of course. What, you were who again? Uh, Rooster Hannigan. That's right, Rooster Hannigan. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, I might have been the peak of my career. It's all been downhill <laughs> since then, really. You really uh, got yeah. as much as you could out of I Rooster. I can sing at least two bars of Easy Street, and that's <laughs> oh all God. I remember. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is a big deal. We love my man, yeah. Josh it's, Charles. It, by the way, it's, yeah, Josh Charles is great. Uh, yeah. You know, Paul Schneider's great. It, oh, Paul Schneider. He, he was in a movie. Uh, did you see George he's Washington? Been in a bunch of movies. Uh, uh, was that the uh, which one? George Washington. You're gonna call me out on this. I have to go see him at work tomorrow. No. I didn't see it. Oh, we'll, we'll cut this out. Sorry, we'll cut this Paul. out. No, we'll cut this Sorry. out. He's amazing. No, don't. Leave I think it. that's I him. I actually want Paul to see that. Oh, really? Uh, you do? <laughs> do it. Do it. Think of the David Gordon Green movie. It was I like, play the younger brother in the play. So this oh, is like this now is me just You're like, like, I don't know your stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but doing a play is totally different than doing a movie. I would tell you that. And really? it's just like a totally different muscle. It's like the same way that like working out is working out, but like CrossFit is different than like riding a bike is different than like just oh, lifting weights. It's all a different thing. Like on a movie, you have to memorize five pages a day or yeah. something like that, which, which, is, which is doable. We have to have 120 pages of dialogue memorized, and once you start, you don't stop till it's over. So if you mess up, like, it's a very awkward and uncomfortable few moments. Yeah, because you can't really improvise, right? Or just no. Like, if you're you, like, by the way, was I? if you change a line at all, like, if the line is, well, you would have done it differently, and you change it to, well, you would have done it differently, the stage manager will come at you afterwards and go, you contracted those two words. Don't do that again. <laughs> You're like, oh. ah. yeah, no, no, I know, I know. Yeah, no, I know. yeah, of course I know, not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I will do it differently yeah. next time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, Straight White Men about? Uh, it's 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 a story about a family. Uh, it's a dad and his three kids who are home for the holidays, and it's three brothers who are uh, and the dad who are all straight white men, and it's watching straight white men deal with when one of the straight white men stops acting like what society really expects straight white men to act like and the expectations that are put on straight white men. Uh, that's good. I, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check it out. I, I don't like to, I won't tell you when I'm coming. Please don't. Cause I don't want to make a big deal where if you see me, I'll be like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. Because yeah, then yeah. I'll be like, hey, Jimmy. Oh, <laughs> you sorry, Jane. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You messed that up. Yeah. Uh, and tell me about the movie here. And now this is a. Yeah, so sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. This, 
Uh, I just saw the trailer somewhere, right? And people were like, "This is something like I've never seen before in my entire it life." It is definitely something like no one's ever seen before. It is an amazing movie. Uh, Boots Riley, who I've been a fan of. I mean, I remember listening to the coup, like driving to high school and being like, "Yeah." The man, right? You know, and then uh, and then I got a script from my agent, and he was like, "Hey, dude, I got a, I got a script that you need to read." And I was like, "Okay, great." He's like, "Let me tell you, it's kind of crazy." And I was like, "Great." He's like, "It's by Boots Riley." I'm like, "I'm in." He's like, "You should definitely read it first." <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I did, and it's just an amazing sort of take on the the society that we live in now, where sort of like the dollar is valued over the value of human life, and is the is the is the, the good of the individual trumping the good of the group, or is the good of the group good for the individual? It's this really interesting commentary. It's also shot it, weird, like yeah. different, and something like you just never see. Everybody it. needs to see this just so you can walk out and go, That was an experience. What was that? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I like that.